Yankee to Brit, the RTM Radio Network on a fantastic rock fanatic Friday with the Yankee and the Brit, the RTM Radio Nitwits. How you guys doing? Uh, on the phone with us, Ron Lyons, Ronnie Lyons, if he, I think you prefer Ronnie, don't you? And Ronnie heard that you girls in the chat room are giving kisses to guys with the trousers down, so he's got his trousers down ready and his arse sticking in the air waiting for kisses, <laughs> so pucker up, girls. How are you, Ronnie? I'm doing, brother. How you doing? Doing good, man. You prefer to be called Ronnie or Ron? I don't know. I'm never late for dinner. How's that? Oh, we can call you that, too, if you want. I got some other names I'll call you. Yeah, at least my bro- I'm not my brother. <laughs> Somehow I knew that was going to come up in the conversation. Yeah, 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 it's all good. Now you just ruined my whole Excuse night. <laughs> <laughs> so how's things in Nashville? Everything going all right over there? Oh, yeah. It's uh, a very busy town. All kinds of good things going on. Yeah, but you guys are rocking, huh? That's a good, man, this is a great little album you got going on here. We jammed the whole thing, and uh, I like it. There ain't anything on there I don't like. Yeah, I was um, very, very pleased with the outcome of this uh, this, uh, CD. I want to call it album, but they don't call them that anymore because, you know, we're in the new new age of technology. It's a CD. Yeah, well, us us old baby booming bastards still call them albums. Right, right. Right, I got it. But it's nice. Uh, you know, what's, what's cool is we could probably get that thing pressed into an album with the cover of all nine yards. Oh, it's nothing better than a little scratch and some noise in the background. That makes it real. Dave's in the chat room <laughs> yeah. and said, I wonder whether Ronnie wants to go on a cruise. <laughs> <laughs> you want to go on a cruise with us in February? I don't Do think we have we... to wear clothes? No, wear whatever you want. <laughs> But it is. But it Birthday is pre- suits are optional. It is preferred. <laughs> well, maybe. I don't know whether Dave means a 2016. You'd probably have to speak to him about that. But yeah, naked's cool. Dave loves to see naked men on the. Cruise. Even my son Brandon says to hell with that. They're new. Their albums. So see, even the young people know what yeah. they're talking about. Hey, yeah, he's not young yeah. anymore. That boy of yours. He's what? What did you say? He's what? Thirty-four. No, that's thirty-four and a half. No, that's that's Ben. Brandon's twenty. What did he say? Three. I don't even Brand- remember their ages. Oh, yeah. Brandon's 29 and a half. Hey, tell us about the band, man. Did all you guys uh, autograph this thing for us? Yes, we did. Yeah, that's pretty cool, yes, we man. Did. Well, let's start yeah, off. Yeah, you know. Who's the first guy here? Uh, is that, I can't read it because he wrote over. Is that, I, Dan- I, is that Danny Joe or what is his name? Yeah. Yeah, Danny Joe Brown. Okay. What's the story on this guy? Uh, ever since I moved down to Nashville, um, I've been friends with him, and uh, I've been playing in bands here and there, helping him out with his other band that he used to be in, and uh, just became really good friends. And uh, when I got got into Lost Generation, uh, the guitar player uh, uh, left, and we needed to get another guitar player, and uh, that was the first guy I called, Danny Joe, and he's really good. Yeah, he sounds he's, good. Uh, he's got it, he got it going on. What's this? And, uh, so... No, go ahead. And then, uh, you know, I'm daydreaming here. You gotta, gotta wake me up. I didn't get in until three thirty this morning. So. So, sounds like you're snorting coke over there. No, dude, I, I, I lost my voice playing my drums last night. How did? You, <laughs> I'm how, not sure how that happened, but how uh, did you lose your voice playing drums? Was you screw? Did it make you scream? <laughs> well, <laughs> no, no. You know, it, it, it's funny. Everybody has their little quirks when they play. You know, uh, some people twitch or they, they they jerk around or they make facial expressions. Up. Well, I hum when I play. <laughs> I hum the song. I hum along wrong, along with it. Brand- Brandon and was getting like, hummed a little earlier. Maybe that's part yeah, of it. Yeah, Randy's son was getting a hum job in the chat room. Earlier. Who's uh, who's <laughs> <laughs> who's Ranco Couric? Ranco, he's a uh, he's a lead singer. He's um, he's from Croatia. Uh, He's been in Nashville for, I don't know, 17, 18 years. Wow, really? Hey, uh, say hello to your lovely lady. She's in the chat room. Say hello to Paula. Oh, yeah. She's listening to me yak out here. Yeah, say hello to her. She's in the chat room. Yeah, she's in the chat room, too, so we can watch what she's saying. Aha, uh-huh. Keep an eye on her. <laughs> <laughs> you just keep her under control. Might, yeah, well, she might see some derogatory against you. Well, well, Paula, while you're in the chat room, it's Brandon Hill's birthday. Give him a big birthday smooch. What's uh, what's the story with a dude named Slam? That's got to have something to that name. 
Ah, Friends. Uh, Friends, uh, he's from Louisiana. And uh, he's, a, he's, a, a, he's uh, a really killer bass player. He's um, a good guy, too. And uh, it, I don't know where that slam name came from, but I would imagine he's slamming the bass because uh, he plays it pretty hard and he's uh, uh, probably one of, the, one of the coolest bass players I've played with down here in Nashville. So. Hey, but, I have a question yeah, for you. Hmm. You was I was only telling these guys in the chat room the other night about how um how sometimes you um you'll give like a drum set to uh to like little kids that are, that you want to help change their lives. You know, I remember you telling me about a year ago or so that you gave a um that you gave a little drum set to a little boy. Uh-huh. Yeah. Tell yeah. us tell us more about that cuz I think that's an amazing thing. I was telling these guys the other night and just the other <laughs> night about that. It's an amazing thing you do there. Well, I've got uh, a lot of uh, passed away. He was a drummer, and uh, his uh, his son, you know, uh, was going to inherit his drum set. Well, somehow down the line, the drum set disappeared, and I kind of felt bad because you know the poor kid wanted to play his dad's drums. So I put together a drum set and I gave it to him and. He uh, actually his him and his him and his mom played the drums. She started taking lessons from one of the local drummers, and he started playing it a little bit and uh, took interest in it. You know, he had another he had a set to play, and that's all that mattered to me. And uh, that's that's what started this whole thing that I've been doing. So, uh, is is this something you do regular fun. then? No, it's kind of sporadic. And, um, I get some pieces, parts, and I put it together, and then it was kind of. Uh, kind of crazy and weird is that uh, this, this last drum set I gave away happened on home, well, almost on the same day as I gave the other one away two years ago. Wow. And, uh, yeah, kind of weird. But, uh, so, this thing, the kid that I gave the set to this time um, was a four year old. Um, I, I did a, uh, I put a, posted it online. I didn't see you saw that. I posted it online. Uh, give it, give the drum set to a, a needy child and um, a few people from all over the place. I'm not talking just Nashville, all over Ohio, even out in Oklahoma, and uh, somebody else somewhere uh, in Michigan, I think it was, it, it texted me and was interested in getting the set for their child. Well, you know, I can't, I couldn't, couldn't deliver the darn thing in either one of them states. But so what happened was that I got somebody local here, and I text her and told her that you know whenever she's ready she can come get it so next she came time and got it the other day it's kind of kind of cool very cool maybe uh you should yeah. start this up as like your uh claim to fame and that's an amazing well, thing to know, do because you can literally change the course of someone's life a small child's life you know well, yeah that's, mm-hmm. that's the intention you know um i've been fortunate enough through my career to gather uh, drums and play them and fix them and do whatever and you know when I started out I didn't have much and I see it that way so I figure if somebody out there needs something and they can't get it and they really want to do it I'm going to help them do it that's, that's the whole thought process behind that so, well there cool. you go that's pretty cool if you guys uh, know anybody uh, he might be able to help out let us know we'll get to Ronnie and uh, we'll see if we can hook you up yeah let me go back to my subject being as Donna can't stay on one subject long enough for me to finish what I'm usually saying <laughs> uh, let's finish off with Wolfgang Müller what's his story with him uh, Wolfgang that, that's his alias name he's, uh, he's a German character he's, uh, he's been in that Lost Generation band he sound good <laughs> Yeah, that's what you're supposed to do is work as a team. Do you miss being with Kill City? You know, singing I your do. graveyard I, love. I talk, to Rhodes, I talk to Rhodes now and then, and uh, Bal's out in California uh, doing his thing with his girlfriend, doing the voodoo Billy stuff, you know. But, uh, yeah, Kill <laughs> City right. was a cool band. Yeah, that was great. Was, what, uh, uh, what, caused the, what caused that to fall apart? Uh, I just, uh, just got stagnant. No, nothing was coming about, you know, uh, the creativity kind of stopped, and, and the music scene wasn't too receptive to that kind of music here for some reason. Um, I mean, there's other rockabilly bands here. Uh, this, I don't know, Nashville's kind of a weird city. Um, you got your rock and rollers, you got your country, obviously, 
and you got your real heavy metal and um, the scene here has a lot of taste, a lot of flavors, which is really cool. But um, I don't know; it's hard to explain how this how this town operates. Um, one band will be very popular for a minute, next thing you know, they're cold as ice. And some bands take off and go on tours. Some bands just break up, or they just keep playing the same bars. I uh, so. I, I found it very cool living around there, though. Actually, it was a pretty slick place. Always something happening, whether it was good or bad. There was always something going on. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's just musically challenging for a lot of people. Um, it's a good place to learn. It's a good place to uh, progress and do a different, uh, you know, different part of your life if you want to pursue uh, music. It's um, really cool. Um, some people get stuck in the daily grind of, of a day job and sell all their equipment and become, you know, get into families and some just sell their soul to the, uh, sell their soul to the music and uh, die with it. <laughs> That's about what it's all about. Yankee and the Brit, 813 on we, a Fanatic we. Friday. Talking with Ronnie Lyons from the gang and the group Lost Generation. Uh, just kind of trying to get inside his head and see what's going on here. You want to say something? Just about to say we are going to play some tunes. Yeah, we got some. We got all your songs. We downloaded them. We're going to jam some of those when we get done with you here. Let me, uh, can we go over these uh, song titles real quick just to get an idea what they're about or who wrote them? Right on. The Only Way. What's the story on that? Um, the only way. I wish I had more depth in the, what, what the words meant in these songs because the rank, Ranko is the one that really wrote all these songs, and uh, we just backed them up. You know, we obviously we played played our parts in the songs. Um, <clears throat> honestly, <laughs> I don't even know what the heck they mean. <laughs> I don't <laughs> have what to... happens when you get too much music in your head, you get wore out. Yeah, well, um, we have to watch that, too, over here because we get that way, you know, because we jam all the time, boy, and uh, even when we're not on the air, get... we're jamming. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, some of the songs have meaning to them, like, uh, let's see, what else is on that record? Oh, uh, I Don't Have to Die for You, Klaus, One More Time, The Highway to Hell cover, Management. Yeah, The Highway, the highway to Hell cover is uh, probably the, uh, one of the most the most uh, requested songs because he sounds so much like uh, the old uh, ACDC singer, Bon Scott. Yeah, who's and, singing uh, that? Who's singing that? I mean, Ranko, Ranko's the singer. He, he's uh, he's the Croatian with that that uh, twangy uh, twangy Kentuckian uh, uh, accent. What I call it. That's a combination. <laughs> yeah, I told Donna that was probably selling pretty good. That one there, with him sounding like that a lot. Yeah, it's yeah. a great album. We jammed our socks off to it the other day, didn't we? Yeah, I think it's good stuff. All of it is. She's a bitch. Did you write that? Uh, no, Ranko did. He wrote. I can tell you about that one. <laughs> he wrote that. I figured as much. He wrote that about his ex-wife. <laughs> <laughs> go, 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 figure, right? Yeah, surprise, surprise. <laughs> what yeah, about? Yeah, he wrote that one about his ex-wife, and uh, yeah, that that one there is that one there is on the. Um, we did a YouTube video with that. Within a month, we had over ten thousand hits on that, which is kind of crazy. And, uh, you know, now it's up to fourteen thousand hits. Oh, you wow. did! Um, Good deal. Yeah, I'm like, you got to be kidding me! And uh, uh, we have an inter- an international website, uh, Lost, Gener- Lost Generation Metal dot com, I believe it is. Um, it's we get hits from every corner of the world on that site from this band, and it's just like it's hard to fathom that because I'm I'm in a little bubble here in Nashville, not expecting to you know. Uh, you have that kind of reception with this band, and it just—it's amazing to see the, how many hits a day that this this website gets, and plus all the music downloads <coughs> that uh, people download for this album. <coughs> so, stop coughing. Yeah, kind of neat. What uh, What about jail? That's got to be some sort of a self-told story there. Uh, yeah, jail. Mm. I think we've all experienced word, that once. We've all experienced that. Yes, yeah, been in jail. Uh, basically. One night of good fun, you end up in jail. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. You've been there, right? Me? Me? What? Uh, you? You've mistaken me for somebody else. <laughs> I'm a jail well, I virgin. I, I, I think Donna, Donna would be more apt to go to jail. She's more feistier than you are. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, but she has. I have uh, and she hasn't. So <laughs> uh, Somehow she's got lucky, I guess. I'm yeah, sorry. yeah. You haven't been in any British, British or uh, English clinks, jails? No, absolutely not. Hogan. 
<laughs> what would you say, Ronnie, if you was if you was uh, if you was banged up in a prison cell with Ran the Man? What would you say to him? What, in what four, would I say to him? What yeah. in four words? <laughs> yeah, in four words. <laughs> Uh, I, I, I couldn't tell you. <laughs> it, it'd probably be something like, you goddamn asshole. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do to me now? <laughs> <laughs> and Randy, how much do you love Ronnie's brother? <laughs> Thanks a lot, pal. <laughs> uh, how much liquor did we drink last night? <laughs> You, you were drinking? I was smoking. <laughs> I was smoking. I wasn't drinking. <laughs> I prefer to smoke over drinking any day. Uh, I can't I can't I can't do that anymore. I'm getting too old for that crap. Oh, must be that uh Paula woman? No. It's called jail. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know anything about that, like I said. Yeah. Funny how that rolls out into that into that song, yeah. Well, you guys... Uh, no, you don't, you know. Viola in the chat that? room, she says she would be saying, let's do it again. <laughs> <laughs> let's do it again. <laughs> I'll what? catch you on the flip side on that one. <laughs> there you go. What, uh, you guys, what's your plans now for the future? What's going on? You guys going to try to hang in there and make something of this or what? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's, um, you know, it's crazy. This town's full of, uh, full of musicians, promoters, whatever. People with money. Um, it's hard to find somebody to, pro- to promote a band out of this area. Um, to get, them, get them on a, a small short circuit tour. Um, it's really strange. With all this, all this kind of, you know, all these people down here, um, and, and playing the music scene down here really doesn't net you any popularity, doesn't really net anything, you know, to playing here. Um, but getting out and about and playing different places, you know, different states, would help, but there's really not, we haven't found anybody that will, you know, put us out there and put us in shows where we can uh, create more of a fan base and get record sales, yada, yada, yada. So, you know, we're at that point right now where we're looking for somebody to take this band to another level because, you know, we think we have a a marketable sound and we could get on any bill with any hard rock act Mm-hmm. And you know, do do very well. So that's where we're at right now. We're looking to move the band to a different level. Awesome. So, so self promoting's probably working better right now than obviously it not is. having anybody to do it. For it you. is. Well, it's pretty. It's pretty evident when you've got a you know fourteen thousand hit YouTube thing that you know our self promotion is working good. Um, and plus our website, which is Dan Diesel's. What's your Hold on a second what's your here. website? <laughs> I got a diesel going by my ear here. I'm sorry. Sounds like you just flushed the toilet. What's the website? Uh, LostGenerationMetal.com. You also have a Facebook page too, right? Yeah, that's uh, Lost Generation Metal. <clears throat> now, why do you have metal on the end of that? Is that just because that's all you could find on Facebook, or is there something to that? No, there's uh, there's uh, there's an old funk band from the '60s called Lost Generation that creates a lot of uh, you know been around for a long time, and there's. There's a few other lost generations that are co- cover bands and whatnot uh, across the country and around the world, I would assume, because there's so many of them. So we changed it. Uh, we put uh, the Lost Generation metal on the back on the back end there, and uh, that seems to work for us. From a listener in the chat, Craig Wilson, uh, how much does it cost you all to tour a year? How much does it cost to do a tour? Yeah, for a year. Uh, quite a bit. <laughs> <laughs> quite a bit. you it's hard to put a number on that. I mean, you, you've got you've got all kinds of expenses. You've got you know your touring expenses. You've got your food expenses. You've got deer expenses. You know, daily living costs, and you got to keep your upkeep at home as well. So you got to make money at this. It's not something you just you know you know jump in your uh, happy van and go to a gig, and it costs money to generate this stuff. You know, and keep it going. So it's 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 for some bands, they can live off what they make. They take that risk and they run. They run the road and they um, they make a you know a, a decent enough living. It's very hard. You know I have a few friends bands down here that do that. Um, they make money doing it, but it's um, a very hard life um, without backing. If you had a backer, it's a lot a lot different. I mean you, your daily per diems and your your costs are covered. And but you need to sell sell on the other end your merchandise and your album needs to sell. And you know that that makes a difference in having having a tour. 
So it's not all easy. <clears throat> a lot of people think it's a glorious life, and it's really, it's cool. Yeah, you get to be on stage in front of a crowd or whatever, but uh, really, it's uh, it's not it's not very easy at all. You, uh, it's very grueling sometimes. Have you uh, had the chill factor being up there on the stage in front of a large crowd? Um, throughout throughout my my career, I've done it a couple you know a couple times. Thirty some years of playing drums, I've done it a couple times. It's kind of cool. Yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> I, think the, I think the coolest one was in Cleveland, uh, but you know, um, here in Nashville, you know, there's a lot of a lot of neat times I've had down here. With different different bands, but uh, it's no different than playing a bar. I just the way I look at it. Ronnie Lyons from Lost That's Generation with the Yankee and the Brit in the RTM Radio Network. That's it. Cut him off. I well, it's the delay <laughs> makes it a little rough. What uh, What do you guys got for a tour bus? You got a Scooby Doo van, or do you guys travel separately, or what? I got an old ice cream truck. Really? <laughs> <laughs> you go, boy. That sounds pretty cool. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It's, oh. it's not an ice cream truck. <laughs> I was going to say you got to chop and lower it, man, and paint it up, patina that uh, thing, I was, make it look I was good. Thinking, I was thinking, Thinking of a Lincoln Continental with a trailer hitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even surprised for some reason. <laughs> you know, uh, you know, it could be an Amish buggy. Those are more convenient. <laughs> They're Suit a lot cheaper. You, sir. <laughs> Have you been back up to Ohio at all lately? No, last summer I was. I got I got to jam with my old band for a minute. Yeah, see my folks and my family. Last last summer, how's your folks doing? They they were out riding in New York last month. How's your brother? Randy loves your brother, don't you, Randy? Ah. <laughs> yeah, it, not and not to, not to say anything harsh about my brother. He he uh, <laughs> he's kind of me- mellow, mellowed out after a few years. Okay, he's not up to, up, to, up up tight as he used to be. Yeah. <laughs> Hard to believe myself. But it's hard to believe. It's hard to believe. I know. I know. It's, it's, it's a rough life. But, <laughs> bloody little but wanker! Not, <laughs> what's that? I said that bloody little wanker. <laughs> bloody, <laughs> bloody wanker! <laughs> oh my god! I, yeah, I said my folks. They, uh, they, they, they're still riding and uh, enjoying the uh, enjoying the weather in Ohio. So that's a good thing. That's a beautiful thing. These guys in the chat room want to know whereabouts in Ohio, because Dave's a bit of a stalker, you see. He'll come and creep in your bed in the middle of the night. So he wants to know exactly where he's going when he, when you visit Ohio. Yeah, Dave from SS Cruises, Inc., he's uh, down there close to Dayton. Yeah, Cleveland area, mostly. Yeah, uh, the good old Great Lakes, you know, Cleveland area. Northeast Ohio, where it snows three feet on one side of the line and nothing on the other. Yeah, mostly in Chardon. Yeah, <laughs> yep, up on the top of the hill. Yeah, top of the hill. I call it the Brown Eye State. I don't miss all that crap. It's bad, it's bad enough when we get a half an inch down here. Not me. I don't miss it. Not a bit. I don't think I'll ever leave Texas. It's too damn nice down here. It might get a little hot, but plus, I can deal with that. Plus, you've got a devilishly handsome wife here. Well, without my wife, I'd probably leave. Would you really? Yeah, I'd go, to, I'd go to England and find you again. Hey, <laughs> I sure the hell wouldn't go back to Ohio. You're a smooth operator, husband. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> Anything yeah, else you want to add always, before we... He's always been that way. Yeah, that day. <laughs> what, running back to Ohio? <laughs> no, smooth operator. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. Smooth operator. You, uh... We'll let you go here. You got anything else you want to add? Anything you need to tell us about? Concert dates or where to find you? Or uh, No, pretty much, you know, uh, lostgenerationmetal.com. or in Lost Generation Metal. That's where you'll find us. Uh, as far as any shows coming up, uh, nothing on the books right now. Um, trying to prepare for a little bit of a uh, CD, re- CD release party here soon. Uh, one of the things we're working on. And uh, other than that, that's about, about, a, about a wrap. Well, that's pretty cool. All you guys get along all right? Everybody uh, hits it off together? Or you all have jobs? Oh, yeah. Does everybody work? Uh, yeah. Um, Danny works for Gibson. He makes all those fancy guitars that everybody plays. He's a neck fitter there. And Slam, he's a teacher. And Ranko actually works on computers. And uh, Edmund is a... Uh, uh, Wolfgang is a, uh, uh, a safety coordinator for uh, Bridgestone. So, yeah, we all have jobs. Oh, that's cool. That makes it kind of hard for you guys to get out and travel around then, doesn't it? Sometimes, yeah. It, 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 
it depends on what we're doing. Are work you still at. working in that big, I mean, big it, building? Lo- locally, it's cool. You know, everybody can make shows locally. If we had to go out of town, we have to plan for it, obviously. Yeah. What was that? But, done? Uh, I said, are you still working in that big pink building? Yeah, I'm still working in the pink building. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to tell these guys what you do in the day? Yeah, uh, lots of glass, lots of glass. I see some. Never of your ending. Work there. I see some of your work there. It looks pretty cool. You're still making showers, huh? Oh yeah, yeah. Never ending shower doors. Yeah. We just uh, we just uh, got a new machine in there. I sent you a picture of it. It's that yeah. and drill. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it I saw takes that. Takes away uh, a lot of work. And I thought the air table was pretty cool. Yeah, <laughs> it is pretty cool. That's a lifesaver. Let me tell you. <laughs> oh, ain't no shit about that, man. I was always, you know, I will say though, you know, Mike was good at what he did regardless of what an idiot he is but uh, <laughs> yeah. i did learn a, i did learn a lot from him though you know i got to give him that but uh just yeah. being able to drop those sheets of mirrors and uh you know work things out like he did and everything he was he was good at that i got to give him that but other than that he's a total loss as a human but that's just my opinion what do i know <laughs> it's okay we all have that same opinion <laughs> you can send my love anytime <laughs> all right man we're gonna yeah, cut you, you know, Go ahead. It's all good, though. <laughs> we all we had fun back in them days, didn't we? Oh, hell yeah, man. I miss that kind of shit, you know? Now it's just me and Donna. Sometimes we want to throttle each other, but... Oh, yes, I do. But see, that that makes for a great radio show. Because, you know, I, when it, when she was across the pond and you were here, it, 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 uh, it was good, don't get me wrong, but <clears throat> I think her sitting next to you makes the show even better, so... Yeah, because now I can tell her, shut up, right to her face. And I can really strangle the fuck out of him. <laughs> you know, till he can't breathe anymore, and he's like, <laughs> Well, man, thanks a lot for it, it calling in. I appreciate you giving us a buzz here. I don't want to keep you all night. Ah, uh, you're fine, you're fine. I'm glad to talk to you all. It's, uh, it's been a minute, so. Well, anytime you got some news yeah. or need to do a promo or something, let us know. We'll get you hooked up. Uh, be glad to play it for you. You got it. And we'll keep, send, keep and sending those new tunes, man, because we like listening to that new music. Yeah, yeah. I like them all. And uh, what was, I got to give you one more, one more note on that. We did that at a really good, uh, uh, what, the studios down here are all over the place. And the studio we did this in was in a, uh, called Ted Productions, or Shed Recordings. And it was literally a shed, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Probably got some of the a best shed. equipment there is, though, huh? Oh, man, the atmosphere is awesome. The sound. Uh, the, guy that, the guy that owns it runs it, runs it uh, Elliot Barula. And uh, he's a talented musician, first of all. And, and then he's uh, he's the one that recorded Kill City as well. And that's how we got in there, because uh, what he did with Kill City. And uh, so anyways, he's got two sheds now. And we, we recorded in one, and we jammed in another, all of us, in one room. In a 10 by, 10 by, uh, was it 10 by 15 room. Wow. And, yeah, and we just tore it up, and uh, most of those songs were recorded within one take. Uh, so some those, two. those are all live, huh? Not a lot of mixing going on. No, it, it's, uh, it, it, the guy that um, mastered it really didn't fool with the uh, um, the recorded aspect of it. He didn't touch a lot of stuff. He didn't add anything, nothing fancy done to that. It's pretty raw, um, and... You know, it had a little tone to it, you know, but uh, pretty much it's pretty, uh, pretty cut and dry. It's well, rock and roll. That's beautiful. In your it face. Sounds, it sounds yeah. fantastic, man. It come out really nice. Got to say that. Yeah, I'm very, I'm very happy with it, and uh, the rest of the guys are too. Um, the best that band's ever sounded, I think. And it, I, I actually, uh, been through a, I actually prefer your addition. drumming in this band than I did in Kill City. You like this band better, Kill City? I actually no. I said I prefer your drumming in this band than I did in Kill City. Oh, okay. It's yeah, like, it, it sounds a lot more. Kill tight City was, it. yeah. Kill City is a little bit uh, uh, just plain, straightforward vibe. This one has a little bit of flavor to it. I like it. Yeah, so, it's a hell of a jam. Well, we're going to throw well, some of that you. music out here for everybody to listen to. Thanks for hanging out with us for a little bit and giving us a buzz and letting us know what's up. Right on. We'll talk to you soon. All right, man. Thank you much. Take care of yourself. Too. Yep, bye-bye. Bye, Donna. <laughs> Yankee and the Brit, the RTM Radio Network. Let's throw on some of that uh, Lost Generation. You guys can check it out and see what you think for yourself. RTM Radio. Random Man, what have you got for me? Random Man. 
Brady and Donna. Coming to you live from Texas, it's Donna and Ran the Man. Friday and Saturday night. On RTM Radio. You're listening to Ran the Man and Donna on the RTM Radio Network. This is Jail, Lost Generation, with the Yankee and the Brit, the RTM Radio Network. Goodbye, Brandon! Goodbye, Brandon. Happy birthday, son.